So we got a tweet here from Dave. He says, Europe is filled with demoralized wimps. So we have this blonde chick on the right. She's obviously a conservative thought. She's upset with white males. And this is like, it's it's not really racial. It applies to all men. You know, like when I talk about feminism and single mothers, black men know what's up. When it, when it comes to men not defending their women because they're trash, that's a white man thing. Because white women voted to destroy white men. So Mark Stan Stein says, uh, message of love. What are you talking about, love? This is war. Eva, Eva Vlar, so maybe she's Scandinavian, Eva, on the Mark Stein show on the recent terrorist attack in France. So let's just watch this video together. I'll stop it at the right times, okay? Go ahead. The weepy passivity of it makes me want to vomit, to be honest. And, I, oh. I, I, and I'm, I'm disgusted by the fact that that's the only reaction. Uh, Real quick, you, you, I think when I hear, see this guy doing this and this girl's in here. What? I put myself in this guy's shoes with this like actual physical position. You know what I'd be saying? Where what? are your boobs? Where are they? <laughs> You're holding your hands. I was like, where, where can I grab them? Where, where are What's they? There? I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Let's continue. Uh, that you're permitted to have. Will eventually the citizens of these towns demand something that actually makes a difference, that isn't weepy and passive? Well, if they do, it's going to be the citizens of the countryside because obviously the cities are lost everywhere, I think, mm. just by the mere fact that we are outnumbered now mm. in the cities. Uh, and obviously the people who are in the cities vote incredibly left-wing and they will continue to do so. She sounds American or Canadian. She sounds a little bit British to me. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. The, the chat will tell me. I'm sure there's like one or three incognito simps that follow this chick. I mean, like, if she says bollocks, we'll know. Have you seen me retweet or talk to a woman on Twitter? Oh, yeah, dude. I've, I've seen it. Now, the oh, ones I'm funny. not aggressive to, the ones I'm, like, engaged in conversation, what are they like? Uh, I mean, they're goth, I don't They're, know. like, hot, petite goth girls, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always, you're a simp, chronic. It's like every now and then I'll, like, retweet some goth girl chick, and I'll be like, you know, I'll say some stupid shit, like, you're a chicken nugget, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this woman appeals to me 0%. Now, let me say, if she was submissive, a virgin 18, I could see, I, I, I would swallow my pride. I would, like, ignore my sexual um, preferences. I give her kids. I marry her. But that's if she was 100% submissive, 18 virgin. That's, she, she's none of those. So I'm, lo I'm looking at a girl whose hairline is retreating like the French. Look at this. <laughs> look, 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 what the, what is this, bro? Like, uh, I have no hairline loss, and I'm in my mid to late 20s as a man, and this chick is like like a will-o'-wisp. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's disconcerting. It looks like it could possibly be dyed, because look at these roots. She's a brunette naturally. Yeah. Now she was a brunette. The well, hair, the hair was she this short. It. Like uh, the hair was above the ear, and she, you know, wore a choker. Yeah. Then, then she's yeah. dangerous to undet chronic. But as this, she's a fake trad thought. Like I see through chameleon colors. Like I see through this. This is I'm not because you have long dyed blonde hair and you're wearing a dress and you're not obese. That's not enough. I don't care. What do you think, Jess? I mean, like, she looks mid at best to me. I don't know. I just see her as a chick that I would talk to. She'd be boring as hell. She'd probably talk about astrology or some or some crap. I'd just be like, okay, we have nothing in common. There's nothing going on. She's it's probably even, not going to... It's even worse, bro. She would tell you... She would ask you if you subscribe to the Daily Wire. Bro, no. Uh, bros. I would look at her and be like, but... I subscribe to a Grigga. Like, Wait, Daily Wild, it's Ben Shapiro, right? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, I want to subscribe to that. I'm I'm not Jewish. And then she just looked at me like, huh? Let's continue. 
so until it puts them in their grave, mm. which baffles me. Mm. But so if there is going to be any resistance, we have to look towards the countryside. But I am afraid that your previous guest was right when he said, well, Europe is filled with demoralized wimps. Mm. Because that is what I'm seeing too, you know, the sob... Europe oh, is filled with demoralized, demoralized uh, wimps. Bro, like these demoralized wimps are refusing to go out on the streets that are burning to the ground and fight off the people that are causing the fires. Do you I'm know what sorry? happens if white Frenchmen started beating the migrants? They, could, they did call like every name in the book. No, no, it's worse than that. They'd be arrested by the French secret police. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. They'd be in jail for 20 years. Because white women in France vote for parties that make the cops do that. They are choosing. They are making the bed. I see, and now you have to sleep in it. I see three groups. One are the soy boys, the leftists. If you're a white man and you're a leftist, I look at you like a eunuch. You have no testicles. You don't respect yourself. I'm going to treat you like a child or a psychotic woman. I don't respect you. Two are the... I guess there's four groups. One, white leftists, useless, whatever. Their best use is fertilizer. Two are the white chads who are apolitical. They're just there to bang. They're banging white French women. They're banging brown French women. They're banging black French women. They don't care about politics because they're getting pussy. That's all they care about. Three are the white French... Because we're talking about France with these riots because, you know... An Algerian carjacker got shot. Oh, boo-hoo. Whatever. Three are the white neocons. The the white, like, ma France, ma conservative, who are willing to protest and fight. They end up in jail because they can't fight. As much as hard as they fight, for every one of them that's fighting, there's three French white women fighting against them with the vote. So it doesn't matter. And then four are the actual based white Frenchmen. You know what they're doing? They're sitting nothing. back. They're not t they don't care. Why would yeah, you care about nothing. a country that hates you? Yeah, no, like th these guys are told every day, you're the problem. You're a straight white male. You're this and that. You're the problem. And then they say like, okay, you know what? I am the problem. So I'm going to remove myself from this situation. I'm not going to be part of the problem. And then what are they told? You're not being in this situation, you not stepping up is a problem. They're damned if they do, when, damned if they don't. When white men in historically white countries realize that those countries and white women hate them, hate them, you know what they do? They stop caring about white women and they stop caring about historically white countries. They get an Asian wife. They get a black wife. I know two dudes in my personal life that married black women one african-american one from africa both of those black women treat those white men better than any of the white wives i know in my life any of them because they were not taught to hate white men they were not now the african-american chick yeah the media and everything but like you know she wasn't influenced by that she just wanted to you know okay honestly she liked the show Vikings, and my friend has a big beard. He's a white guy, and so her sexual urges dominated any kind of political influence or propaganda she had. Let's continue. I'll be tears. The, oh, let's pray and unite. Let's respond to this horrible news with a message of love. What are you talking about, love? This is war. Yeah. <laughs> People are coming in that are stabbing our children. But how did they get in? Who let white, them in? White woman, they, they, for, they, white woman voted for them to come in. Those are not my children. All the strong men, the strong young men who you want to defend you, you did not give children to. Like, these men that are coming over stabbing children. I, I've seen videos on Twitter of, like, dudes, like, 30 people in one small boat, like, cheering up, having a good time. I'm sure every single one of them is a scholar or a doctor trying to make the world a better place in the country they're coming to. But then they tear up their passports and laugh about it as they're throwing them into the ocean, right? Like, these men that are coming in, wrecking up the place. 
I got they, a crazy like, idea for this white woman. Yeah, what's up? My kids are not going to be stabbed by a migrant. Do you know why? Oh, because they're not going to be in a place where migrants are going to be around that are violent and are going Absolutely. to be a threat. Yeah. My children are not going to... I, the first time my children see an illegal in the USA, they're going to be working a job, driving to their job, and they're going to see some person on the side of the road. Yeah. Now, this danger, this overall danger level in Western countries, is because of white women. We go, oh, black women, Latino, one of the black red pill guys, the Latino red pill guys, they'd be like, oh, no, our women are bad too. I agree. But what started it? When they passed the 19th, 95% of the female voters were white. They started this. So it becomes more insular, more individual. Your family safety is the responsibility of the man. If the man marries a woman who doesn't listen to him, he's weak, he's useless, he's a feminist. He married a non-virgin. He married a woman who wanted to live in Paris. That's their fault. Like, like I will chronic. never let my kids play on a playground in Paris. Absolutely not. And if what? I did, I'd be there. And if I was there and I saw a migrant acting a fool with a knife, guess what? I'm going to be the next Derek Chauvin. Chauvin. There, there are states in this country that literally say if someone is breaking into your house, it is your legal responsibility to leave your own home. Like, and who has voted in the people that try to pass these legislations? Are they men with rifles or guns that are willing to stay in their home and shoot someone? And then we see people saying, like, you'd shoot someone over your property. You value your property over human life. And it's like, yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. Here, actually, no. It's that person who's coming to your home who doesn't value their life enough over your property. That's the problem. Yep. But then there are states here in the USA that say if you stand your ground, if you fight off an attacker that's breaking into your home, fucking with your peace of mind, you're the problem. And who votes maybe, in maybe those kind of people? Maybe adopt like five pit bulls who haven't been castrated, male pit bulls. Oh, and I'll well, I mean, I'll keep them in cages all day. I mean, I'm pretty sure toddlers is detected. The cages unlock, and I'll just you know, like your dogs killed someone. You you, you got to have them euthanized. I'm like, that's all right. There's another thirty pit bulls in the local shelter. I'll just get those. Chronic. I'm afraid toddlers aren't breaking into people's homes on the regular. <laughs> if, you, if you think. You're going to break into a greenskin's house. And, you're smart and, as a toddler. And profit from it. You're you're basically a toddler to me. Yeah, yeah. Let's continue. Let's continue. When are you going to wake up? When are you going to rise up? When are you going to say no? And rise up for who? Like she wants men to rise up and vote and like protect women. The only to like look. Rising up, fighting against the system, that's a valid option. That's a valid choice. I'm not going to do that when 95% of people, 99% of people, support the current regime and would smile when the cops, with a million more resources than me, come to my house, come to my car, come to my work, and kill me. Like, what do I benefit? Like, who benefits if I rise up and fight this evil system? And women, then when women benefit, their kids benefit, normies benefit. So I give up my life for women that don't give me kids. I'm not doing that. No, I'm not. And, and then when these men do stand up and say, hey, maybe we should just let everyone into the country that we think is okay. When those kind of men stay, stand up and say, I think we should you know, we'll talk about this, they're called arses they're called this they're called that they they're called every name in the book they're shamed on social media they're docs they have their phone number leaked their address leaked it, society has basically said if you're against people coming over in rowboats or across the border just like at any she, time they she, want this woman wants to protect society because in her inner being she wants to protect other women that hate white men if you want to protect yourself and your family, you know what you should do? Find a strong man. That's what you do. Exactly. Submit to a strong man. 
If Better not upset, be on travel alone. If, if you're upset because white women in Paris are having their kids poked with with a sharp object by a migrant, I don't care. Like I just don't. I see white women and their families in the inner cities, leftist white women. I have the same empathy of them as I have for African kids starving in South Africa. I it's feel like, bad. It shouldn't happen, but I'm not going to do a goddamn thing to stop it because I care more about my family. Me. Number one, me. As soon as I have kids, they're number one. My yeah. wife is number one. I'm not. I am not going to sacrifice for a white woman that is not draining my balls. Oh, but but th that's me. I'm going to be Hunter Apple and I'm going to cry on stream and call you a beta. Yeah. No, like, that's how it should be. These women aren't the, sacrificing the dudes, for me. The dudes like Hunter Avalon who call me a beta for putting my family above the country and people I don't know are the dudes that marry women who sexually assault camels. No, oh, no. Let's my continue. Camel. Go ahead. And of course, the most important thing is that we realize who did this, right? Mm. It's one thing to point at the, the migrants who've come here for better jobs, for better lives, you know, for the social benefits for that matter. Maybe if I would have been in their shoes, I would have done the same thing. The and if I was in charge, I would have had a wall up. Or as soon as you got out, I would have deported you. Or I would have used our military against you. And women don't like that. Women don't like, oh, but they're poor migrants. They're poor. They want a better life. If they want a better life, they can make their countries better. Yeah. Let's continue. The person that we have to blame, the people that we have to blame, are the people in power who have pushed this willfully and who have said okay, your chronic, life is chronic. going to be Who puts these have people civil. in power? Who is the, like, who is the demographic? that allows these people to be in power in these countries where mm. voting is the primary source what of putting people in power what, what demographic votes leftist parties in power women women that, women that vote off emotions they hear all these people are coming over they just want a better life their country sucks they just want to make the world a better place oh my and god there's a picture of some toddler that drowned on the way to greece everybody cry and give up every person that wants uh, 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 fuck the laws and fuck the borders and shit there's a toddler that drowned Every country in the world should just be open to letting anyone come over to white, their place. White women see a Syrian migrant toddler drowning and change the immigration policy. White women murder children, hundreds of them every year, in the bathtub by drowning them. And nobody changes custody law. Nobody. And then they will start saying... We need to fight back the system that we created. Yep. However, they don't say we started this problem. We need to fix it. They always say men need to step up. Men need to do this, this, and this. Sorry, go yeah, ahead if you want to continue. Men need to step up and stop listening to women. Let's continue. We got like a minute left. If I would have been in their shoes, I would have done the same thing. The person that we have to blame, the people that we have to blame, are the people in power who have pushed this willfully and who have said your life is going to be better. Our world is going to be prettier. It is the I think the monster is who votes off of the who votes depending on if the world is prettier or not. What this like women? What, women, women. Yeah. yeah. Alliance that was formed between the left who dream of a rainbow world where all people can live together without borders and all races hold hands and all cultures just, you know, just sort of merge into mm. each other. And on the other hand, the hardcore neoliberals who thought that it's better to have a, I think, identity, well, an identity crisis in a country so that people will end up being confused, buy more things, not really leave their houses anymore, and you don't have paperwork at the border, so that's great, you know? Yeah. So that the consumerists, the capitalists, the corporatists, really? And I say a word, I won't get banned for it, but you guys know what I mean. The bankers, the CEOs, those are the ones funding and pushing forward these liberal fools. The bankers were the ones pushing for the 19th. The bankers were the ones pushing for a female suffrage. We've been suffering because of them.
Keep that in mind.